Hello and welcome to another video of Lab Replicon. In this video, we will be learning the difference between the uh, melting temperature and annealing temperature. And we will learn how to calculate annealing temperature to carry out successful polymerase chain reaction. So today I will show you how to calculate annealing temperature. So we have this primer pair that is 35S and NOSTI, uh, forward and reverse primers respectively. And we will calculate uh, what will be the annealing temperature for this uh, primer pair. So we'll go to uh, NEBTM calculator. You just search on the Google, you'll get the link. Here you can enter to this site and here it is having uh, the TM calculator. It is from New England Biolabs. So here I'm choosing, since I'm using the tag DNA polymerase I will use here tag DNA polymerase and here uh, I will keep because I have the same enzyme so you find whichever enzyme you are using and then uh, proceed so here I am using tag DNA polymerase then I will just paste the forward primer and I will also paste the reverse primer so here you can see you will get the annealing temperature here so this primer pair will anneal at 48 degrees celsius so whatever the uh, in pcr we have to keep annealing temperature at 48 degrees celsius we can increase by my experience i am saying we can increase it up to 50 degrees celsius uh, still it it will able to amplify uh, so this is the tool i have used for carrying out my pcr and we are using uh, very frequently to calculate the TM, uh, TM as well as annealing temperature for our uh, primer pairs. So here you can see uh, this also shows uh, the nucleotide, uh, nucleotides. So, so for our primer, I have 19 nucleotides, 47% GC content, and TM is 55 degrees Celsius. Here uh, the primer two has 22 nucleotides, 41% GC, and uh, TM is 53 degrees Celsius. So remember that when you are key, uh, whenever you are using, uh, men, whenever you are calculating annealing temperature, it should be less than uh, less than uh, melting temperature or TM, but uh, it should be less than three to five degrees Celsius and not more than that. If you reduce the TM too much, then it will bind uh, the primers will bind to the template and it will give the non-specific amplification. <clears throat> Similarly, if you increase or keep up the uh, annealing temperature like just like TM, then the primers cannot bind. 